Hey, I'm Andy, and this is Impressionista Water Lilies, and I found this game on Game Jolt, and it seemed really interesting, and the concept seemed really neat, so let's just dive right into this. And it's basically, you are in an art gallery, and you get to inspect the paintings in the gallery in a, like, you can be really immersed into it. So, and this version is the lilies, the water lilies by uh, Claude Monet, Bridge Over Water Lilies Pond. And yeah, uh, let's just go for it. Alright, um, I'm using the keyboard and mouse, so uh, they also have the uh, some gamepad as well, so, uh, alright. Uh, enter painting, and we can walk and look around. Water Lilies and the Japanese Bridge. Monet rented and eventually purchased a house and gardens in Giverny. During the 1890s, Monet built a greenhouse and a second studio with a spacious building with, with well-lit skylights. Monet purchased an additional land with a water meadow. In 1893, he began a vast landscaping project, which included lily ponds that would become the subjects of his best-known works. This scenery, with its alternating light and mirror-like reflections, became an integral part of his work. Alright. And then, whoa, well, that, that text seems really off, but uh, here you can learn about Monet. Uh, it was a, French, a founder of French Impressionist painting and the mo most consistent and prolific practitioner of the movement's philosophy of expressing one's perception before nature, especially as applied to pine air landscaping painting. The term Impressionism is derived from the title of his painting Impression, Soleil Levant, Impression Sunrise, which exhibited in 1874 in the first of the independent exhibitions. Alright, so the developer has multiple types of this game out on Game Toad, I believe, and this one is just the bridge over water lily, so uh, let's just uh, enter the painting, and you'll see why I thought this was neat. So this is really cool if you're into art and all that stuff, so we're actually in the painting right now, and, and you can see, uh, you can see like all the different aspects of the painting. I think the movement is limited in the sense that uh, can only explore wherever the painting is. I like. I don't think you can go. Oh, you can. I didn't know that. So you can go through here, which is a garden. It's really pretty. All right. And on the game Jolt page, it says it's a short, simple, contemplative experience for fine art lovers, and it's a fun way to learn art. And it's supposed to be to. It's to stimulate visiting to museums and art galleries and all that stuff. So I take it we can exit to the gallery here, but. Uh, Let's just explore some more and see where that goes. And you can't. And instead of running, uh, if you hold down shift, you just stand there and you can just inspect the things as they walk on by or uh, uh, flow on by. And this seems really cool. Like if if you really like art, I I highly suggest you to try this. It's also it's free to download, and I'll link it in the description down below for those that are interested. Yeah, it's like, it's a deeper look on a painting, while actually not, like, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's, it's pretty cool. Because I'm sure, like, a lot of people have heard of or seen the, at least a picture of the, the painting, but I don't think, this is like the first time that you can actually be in the painting and explore, like, the intricacies of it. So, like, this is the bridge, and, like, there's the water with the lily. Uh, water lilies and yeah it's, it's just so peaceful like the music's peaceful the ambient sounds peaceful everything is so peaceful also really colorful uh, very very uh, it matches the painting's tone and feeling like in my opinion I, I could be totally wrong about that but uh, that's what I got from this uh, experience And they also note on the game told page is that they are very aware that digital imagery can't compare with real painting artwork, which is true because while you get to explore all the intricacies, oh, like I like the filter they have. It remind, it looks like it's on canvas too. That's really nice. But yeah, like like I was saying, uh, uh, they're right because like the real painting is just like the actual real painting. You can't really uh, match that, but. Given what this is and what this is supposed to replicate, I think it, it's doing a real good job. And there are other in this series. I don't, I forget which paintings there were, but uh, it's it's on their Game Chult page, I believe. 
there? Like, can we walk on the water? No, oh, there seems to be an invisible wall uh, preventing us to walk in the water. At least from here, anyways. And there's a fence, too. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Alright, I remember- alright, uh, maybe you can't enter the water from there? I don't- I'm, I don't think we can, but... We can- I guess this is like the- the view from where the painting- I, I guess this is where it's supposed to be where the artist uh, just painted the scenery, so... Yeah, it looks it looks pretty. I I can't uh, I can't really describe it, but it's really pretty. Like the water looks nice. The the flowers and the trees and the sky all match the the artistic interpretation of it. I believe. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, this is really cool. So like as you can see, there's like not much to it, but then again. Uh, compared to the painting, I I think that this gives a lot of depth to it. Like you can explore what the the surroundings and all that stuff. And yeah, let's walk through these flowers and let's go back to the the museum. Like it's so cool that they have these uh, experiences where you can just enter paintings and view what view like the. Uh, like the paintings itself in like as if you were there oh so yeah that's pretty cool so we can also yeah we, we visited that and yeah that is basically it for impressionista water lilies uh it's not much but like like i said before there's a lot of depth to it if you like the paintings that they have on the game toad page so there's separate paintings i chose the bridge over water lilies pond just because it looked really pretty and i like the art so yeah, uh, I'll link to it in the description down below for those that are interested. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.